Hey, Keith, what are you working on? You kidding? Nothing. I've spent the past two days getting nowhere on this one design problem, and maybe it'll turn out the whole idea's crap. And then I have Max showing up pestering me to sign away all claims on the towers. Didn't this same sort of thing happen when Max tried to solicit your design ideas for the towers in the first place? You said it couldn't be done. You were too wrapped up in the thing before it boo-hoo-hoo rocks and hard places. Well, no, but... Thanks. I see what you're doing, and, and you're right. But this latest thing I'm trying to do, it just hurts to keep thinking about, but I can't let it go. I can at least think about the tower's design and feel good. It's one big problem that I solved. Keith, have I noticed some strain between you and Max? Probably. He's getting insufferable. Trying to tear away any dignity I might have gained through working on the design of the towers, and he's doing it just so he can move along to the next new thing. What's wrong with moving on to new things? Nothing! If you've got somewhere new to move to, I don't have that luxury right now. So, you're on to the next thing? The gears don't stop spinning in that head of yours, do they? You make it sound like a choice, Cordy. I'm working on the Ori over there. I'm trying to make it into a functional tool for measuring planetary movements. Orrery? That's what that thing with the planets is called? Well, ours is a little different, but yes. I just need to work on balancing it and I'll be finished. But it's tricky. I need to use the right wrench on the right planet, and I have to adjust it in the right direction. Adjust it? I'm using these to make the fine adjustments, but nothing has worked so far. Can you tell me what progress you've made with the orrery? Not much to say. I haven't been very systematic, so I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my edge. Keith, don't talk like that. You're just down. Lots of stress lately. Is it really so bad to sign away some legal claim? You still designed Enthon Towers, Keith. Your name might not be on the plaque, but you know it's an- No, it's not about plaques. It's about Max thinking he can take something that I busted my hump for and just turn it into another commodity, a another moneymaker. Are you sure that's what he's doing? This is a condominium, Keith, not a microchip patent. I'm not sure what he's up to, but I don't like it. I'll talk to you later, Keith. All right. So this is Keith Cordelia. Let me see if I can find any memories relevant to Keith working on this thing. So the small wrench definitely isn't the one to use, but I still need to lock the green planet in place. Look at that! I have a lot more control if I jiggle the wrench as I turn it. I don't know how I know this. It just hit me. Keith needs to jiggle the hex keys when he makes adjustments with them. Keith? 
Keith, I have a suggestion for how you could fix those planets you're working on. Yeah? What's that? Use the medium wrench. Adjust the green planet with it. And turn it clockwise, but jiggle it when you do. Hmm. Interesting thought. If I... Wait! Yes, that's it! Keith, will you sign these papers for Max? But I just can't get this calculation to match up. It matched up last time. Why doesn't this one... Huh? Oh, yeah. What's this? This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? Do I sign it? I don't know. It was with the papers that Max needed you to sign. Maybe this Jeff has to sign it also. Don't care, it's signed. If he doesn't need it, too bad. Now let me work. I need to see if I can, if I can just... That was like the vision I had down on the balcony, and it makes more sense now. She wasn't just seeing any old visions, she was seeing her brother dying. She lost consciousness there, which stopped the vision. Maybe I can pick up the trail to the rest of that incident someplace else. I'm sure I can talk to someone about this vision. They can protect Max for me. I'm looking for John McCoy. Is that you? The one and only. What's this about? I was led to believe maybe you could help me. My brother is going to be killed. Well, you just get right to the point, huh? Look, I can try to help you, miss, but really, you should call the police. We only deal with federal cases here. Well, okay but I was told by someone that you'd be willing to hear me out. All right. You tell me what's going on, maybe I get you in touch with someone on the BPD. <sighs> Anything to distract me from how badly my football game's going. My brother, Max. He's the one who's gonna die? What evidence do you have? Well, all my life I've had this sense. I've been able to see things that haven't happened yet. Give me a break. And then they come true. I've been having these awful, scary visions. And in the Max dies. He gets killed. I heard you help with this sort of thing. You heard wrong. I don't help. I keep an open mind about things, and now someone's playing a practical joke. Who put you up to this? What? No. No one. What can I do to change your mind? You can show me your visions, or show me your dead brother. All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. This whole week has been lousy, and watching the paths get ripped apart is no help. But what am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Here, there's this woman, Rose. She runs an antique shop, and she's gifted. She knows about visions and things. She's been giving me some guidance. Give her a call. There's a desk down on the end you can sit at to call. All right. That's the conversation I saw a piece of earlier. What was so bad about this week? Talking me up won't change my mind, miss. I've been through hostage negotiation training. But if you want to know, and everyone here is sick of hearing about it, my wife's leaving me. Over 20 years together, and I, I swear, she is trying to take everything that matters to me as she goes. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't get into it. No, it's okay. I don't mind. It's important to talk that stuff out. Fine. But just remember, hostage negotiator. 
You said your team was losing. What's the game you're watching? Not watching, watching. But I got a live feed of the score. Though it's almost too painful to look at. Goddamn Pat's letting me down here and I got money riding on this. I mean, come on. The Washington Redskins? I figured we'd tear them open like a Christmas present, but no! Are the Patriots doing any better? Nah, Redskins are still wailing on them. I'm going to go think for a bit. Try to figure out what would convince you. Sure thing, kid. Aw, oh, no, well, how did they score again? Brady, come on! You can do this! Just get me a first down and cover the spread. Please! This is the score for the Pats game John was following. Whoa. So, I don't know how I know it, but I know who's going to win that game. I didn't even need to focus. Hello again, Agent McCoy. Hello, miss. What do you need? Is that game still going on? If by game you mean slaughter, then yes. My team's slaughter is progressing well. Double your bet. What? Double your bet. The Patriots are going to win 22 to 20. Get out of here. You are off your nut, lady. They can't come back. Plus, that's, that score doesn't make any sense. How are they going to get to 22? They will. If they don't, I'll cover the whole bet. And you can triple it. Give your man my name, Cordelia Smith. Okay, Cordelia, pleasure to uh, finally know your name. You're really serious, aren't you? This is life or death. All right, looks like Vinny accepted, and <laughs> who wouldn't a crazy bet like that? Okay, listen, kid, I, I don't know where you're getting these crazy ideas of yours, but I can see you're really fighting for this. This matters to you. You know, I'm going to regret that I ever said this, but <sighs> call that a hunch. I'll help you. Really? Thank you so much. But if any of this starts to smell funny, I am out. All right? We'll open a new case here. I have it assigned a case number and boom. Okay, tell me what you know. And I can't stop thinking about this. Look, I can see you're scared, but it isn't exactly federal, so I can't just drop everything and run it for you. This is the case number. You see that number? You can check up on any progress just by referencing it. Okay. And thank you so much, John. Really. Thank you. Thank you for all your help, Agent McCoy. I need to go, but I'll be in touch. John, you were working with her? You were helping her? I don't believe this. <laughs> <laughs>